The following set of questions are asking us to convert these improper fractions into their mixed numbers. We know that all of these are improper fractions because the numerator in each question is smaller than the denominator. So for our first example of 24 divided by 5, to convert it into our mixed number, first we have to see how many times the denominator goes into the numerator evenly. 5 goes into 24 four times evenly, so that means 4 is going to be our coefficient of our mixed number. Now we're always going to have a fraction beside our mixed number, and we know that the denominator of our fraction is always going to be the same as the denominator in the original question. So therefore, this denominator is going to be 5. Now to figure out the numerator, we have to find the difference in 24 minus 5 times 4. So we know that 5 times 4 is 20, so we have 24 minus 20, and our numerator is going to be 4. So our final answer is 4 times 4 over 5. Now you can check your answer to see if you're right by converting it back into its improper fraction. So you can take 5 times 4, which is 20, and add 4 to get 24, and your final answer is going to be 24 over 5, which is the same as our original question. So we know that this answer is right. Now moving on to our next question, again we want to take our first step of seeing how many times our denominator fits in our numerator. So 12 goes evenly into 18 once, so that means 1 is going to be our coefficient of our mixed number. And next we're going to have our fraction beside our coefficient, and the fraction is always the same denominator as the original question. So we put a 12 down below. Now to find the numerator, we take the numerator of the original question and subtract it by the denominator times the whole number. We know that 12 times 1 is just 12, so we get 18 minus 12 to get our final answer of 6. So that means our fraction is going to be 6 over 12. But 6 over 12 can convert down into a smaller number to 1 half, so we get 1 times 1 over 2 as our final answer. Now moving on to this bottom question, we have to see how many times does 4 go into 26 evenly. We know that 4 goes into 26 6 times, so 6 is going to be our coefficient of our mixed number. Next, we're going to need a fraction beside our mixed number, and the fraction always has the same denominator as the original, so the denominator is going to be 4. Now, to find the numerator, we take our numerator of our original function and subtract it by 4 times 6. We know that 4 times 6 is 24, so we have 26 minus 24 and then we get a final answer of 2. So we have 6 times 2 over 4, but 2 over 4 can reduce down to 1 half. So we have 6 times 1 over 2. Now moving on to our next improper fraction, we have to see how many times does 18 go into 63. And 18 goes into 63 3 times. So I write our 3 as our whole number, and then we have our fraction of 18 as the same denominator as our original question. Now to find the numerator, we take 63 and subtract it from 18 times 3. Where 18 times 3 is 54, so we have 63 minus 54 to give us our final answer of 9. So we have 3 times 9 over 18. But as we can see, 9 over 18 can reduce down to 1 half, so we have 3 times 1 over 2. Now going on to our final question, we have to see how many times does 22 go into 142 which is 6 times. So our coefficient of our mixed number is going to be 6, and then we're going to need a fraction beside it with our denominator as the same as the original question. Now to find the numerator, we take the numerator of the original question and subtract it by 22 times 6. Now we have 142 minus 22 times 6, which is 132. 142 minus 132 is 10, so we have our final answer of 6 times 10 over 22. But 10 over 22 can reduce down, so we have 6 times 5 over 11 as our final answer. Now again, you can check all of these answers by taking the denominator, multiplying it by the whole number, and then adding on the numerator to see if you get the same answer as your original question.